congratulations, of course, with the Nobel Prize. Um, how, how many congratulations did you receive already? Too many. Hundreds. 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 Are you tired? Uh, very. The noble burden is worse than I possibly could possibly expect. But it's also fun, I suspect. Well, I hope that at one stage it would be fun. At the moment, it's hard work, and uh, the work comes from unexpected quarters. Uh, I couldn't imagine that some people asking me some things, uh, students budge into my room asking for signatures, people ask to give that and this interview, university wants me to... Uh, make a photograph with some potential hundreds of Chinese uh, students who might come to the university and all this nonsense. Uh, yeah, I understand now that I'm a, a part of a mad circus, but okay. We'll see how it will go in a week time. At the moment, it, it, it's really, really bad. There's a saying that says, uh, a victory knows many mothers. Do you understand that? No, I don't. Well, that means that a lot of people try to claim other people's success and try to say it's a Dutch prize, it's a Russian prize, it's oh, a right. British in, prize. In this possible sense, yes, indeed. Uh, from your queen, very stylish, congratulations. It's telegram in Dutch and without saying anything, it's Beatrix, nothing else. It's very style. I, I like it. Uh, Nijmegen, the University of Nijmegen, sent out a press release saying that they congratulated their scientists for their Nobel Prize. They tried to claim it too. What do you think of that? I'm fully supportive was of their claim. First of all, okay, I was in Nijmegen for six years, and uh, six years it's... Uh, more than 10% of my life and, okay, probably 20% of my working life. So that's the first thing and probably the biggest claim for, for the Nobel Prize from the University of Nijmegen comes because uh, I have been in extremely close collaboration with uh, a professor of theory, uh, Michael Katznelson. He is a co-author of the second most important paper in the row and without those many papers maybe we wouldn't receive this prize so I, I think the claim of Niven Megan is 100% legitimate they also say that you, that you left there because you were not uh, granted enough liberty to do your work well that's correct in Nijmegen, I didn't like uh, the academic system, which is a little bit hierarchical. I was explained by uh, people in, at Nijmegen uh, this ridiculous thing that I'm not their uh, colleague, I'm not a collega. Uh, collega is only another professor, is a collega. I'm a made worker not a colleague, so that that's gives you an idea how hierarchical system is. And I was reprimanded that uh, he's not my colleague. So what's next? What are you going to do? Back to work or celebrate? I'm pretending that life goes normal, okay? But it's clear that it's a little bit artificial situation at the moment with work. We'll see what happens next week. I'm freshly cooked. Nobel Prize winner. I do not have an experience in winning Nobel Prizes. I had won quite a few before, uh, different prizes, but it uh, was never that uh, bad with, uh, with uh, an amount of inquiries from different quarters. I wish you a lot of luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.